Hey everyone, it's Michael Salome, Basketball Operations Associate with the Santa Cruz Warriors. Thanks for joining me today for this Get Fit Clinic presented by Kaiser Permanente. Today we're going to be focusing on shooting drills. All right, we could work on shooting, but again, shooting is another difficult exercise to do at home. If you got high ceilings, you could do it. But first, we'll work on our stationary jump shot, okay? So stationary jump shots. We'll get down. Again, triple threat. What were my options again? I could dribble, I could pass, or I could shoot. Many times when I was in India and I was in China with the junior NBA, they'd ask me, how do you work on your shot? How do I work on it if I don't have a ball? You can work on your form any time of the day without a ball. I'm gonna show you right now, Warriors. All right, so with this shot, we're gonna get down. And we're going to focus on these three steps. Step one, we're getting into a triple threat form. All right, that's the most important part. Step two, L shape. All right, we got an L that we're forming with our arm parallel with our face, facing forward, back straight. Okay, if you're left handed, I'll show you left handed. All right, step one, triple threat. Step two, we're up L shape with our hand. L shape, right? In step three, we're gonna focus on our follow through, all right? And oftentimes follow through is where we make our mistakes with our shot. Follow through is really important, all right? This is how you could practice your follow through. All right, step one, triple threat. Step two, L shape. Step three, follow through, right? So when we follow through, that's the most important part, and that's where a lot of people make mistakes. So I'm gonna teach you the best way to work on that follow through. Let's say you have a clock. Think of a clock, a circle, right? We've got a circle, all right? This is 12 o'clock, this is one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, right? Okay. We're following through and thinking of the clock in our mind, all right? If I follow through, at three o'clock, that looks more like a pass, right? Three o'clock is more of a pass. If I follow through 12 o'clock, up, that ball's just gonna come back down on me, right? Let's say I got the ball, right? Three, that's a pass. 12, I'm going up and the ball's coming back down, right? We wanna follow through in between that like one and 2 p.m range of a clock. This is where the follow through needs to be, like a 90 degree angle right here, okay? We want to follow through at that one to two o'clock range, right? So we're in, pocket in, L shape, and we're following through one o'clock right here. Get that good angle. And then here's a cool secret. I'm sure you guys have been eating a lot of cookies sitting at home or chocolate or whatever you have in that jar. But when you follow through, one o'clock, you want to flick that wrist down and reach into the cookie jar. One, triple threat. Two, L shape. Three, follow through. One o'clock, reach for that cookie. Ready? Let's do it quicker. One, two, three, good. One, two, three, good. Good job, Warriors. 